Hi, in this session, I am going to talk about land degradation. Land degradation is the inability or reduction in the ability of land to perform its ecosystem functions. So the land is having several ecosystem functions. When land is not able to do or re reduce its capacity to do such ecosystem services, we call the land is degraded. So the land degradation uh, is undesirable, unwanted change due to natural causes as well as due to the artificial or man-made anthropogenic causes. And uh, e the rate of the natural land degradation is very much low when compared with the anthropogenic causes of land degradation. And land degradation, there are different types of land degradation which includes soil degradation, vegetation degradation, uh, water resource degradation and pollution uh, of soil and water. And this, all these uh, land degradation types are very much related. Because the land pollution uh, leads to the soil degradation and degradation of soil will uh, affect the vegetation in the soil also it affect the or contaminate the water resources in the uh, which is related to the land. So these all types of water, land, land degradation are very much related. So in this figure we can see the relationship of the land or soil with the other resources. So the soil, the quality and uh, uh, functioning of the soil is related to the groundwater uh, levels. So uh, and it is also affecting the water, uh, open water. Air quality is based on soil because it is it is the soil or the land is the largest reservoir of carbon. So if it is uh, going to the organic matter degradation in soil, which also causes the increase the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, uh, it is related to the biomass production because it is the first link in most of the uh, like uh, food chain so the plants are primary producers so if the soil is degraded its ability to support the plant growth is reduced so which leads to the decrease in the food chain or the uh, like energy flow in the food chain if human health is related to the soil because soil is the uh, source of our food because the crops are grown in soil and it's related to the culture and also the biodiversity is very much related to the soil so if the quality or the health of the soil is increased all these parameters will be better so if the health of the soil is decreasing, it will cause uh, negative consequences in all these aspects. And unfortunately, in the global level, the soil health is reducing and it is degrading. So uh, there, there, are, uh, there is a uh, difference between land degradation and soil degradation. And uh, soil degradation is sub part of land degradation, but it is the most important part of the land degradation. So uh, soil degradation is a decline in the productive or functional capacity of soil. We are very much worried about the productivity of the soil or the functioning of the soil because uh, that is our food. Our food crops or our animals, everything is depending on the fertility of the soil. So uh, this soil degradation is actually changing biological, chemical, physical and hydrological properties of soil. And around the globe, 15% of land area is under degradation or is degrading. Uh, so the decline in soil inherited capacity to perform environmental and socio-economical functions is a characteristic of soil degradation. And this table explains the main functions and the uses of the soil. Uh, it has it is performing ecological functions and a technical, industrial, and socio-economical function. Uh, let me quickly go through this table. It has ecological function in the biomass production, food production and renewable energy is depending on the soil quality. Degradation leads to reduction in the food production and reduction in the renewable energy production. It has function in filtering, buffering and transformation like cycling of components, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus and everything. Regulating the water flow and water cycle and microbial and biochemical transformations are happening in the soil. And it has biological and ha biological habitat and gene reserve because the soil has so many organisms and it is also support the growth of all organisms in the terrestrial, uh, all terrestrial organisms. So it's important. Then it is a physical medium for our buildings, housings, plant, everything we need, soil or land. Then waste disposal, recreation activities, everything we need, functional soil. Then it's a source of raw material for quarry, mining, supply of water. Then uh, protective protecting and preserving cultural heritage or culture so many cultures the culture is actually related to uh, the soil this archaeological sites uh, paleontological sites everything is in uh, depending on the soil and it's contribute to the appearance of the landscape the the forest uh, like the sceneries everything depending on the quality of soil because for the plant growth we need a uh, healthy soil 
so if a degradation occurs all this field all these functions will be impaired so what is the problems related to the soil degradation so in a degraded soil soil degradation occurs due to erosion uh, loss of soil organic matter nutrient imbalance salinization surface sealing loss of soil biodiversity contamination acidification compaction and water logging and we will be uh, ex uh, like uh, examining each of these factors in detail what are the drivers of soil degradation why why the soil degradation is so prevalent one is land use change because uh, because of the growing population we need more and more of land area for the expansion of the urban areas for our industries for mining uh, for cultivation everything we need land so that's uh, one of the major driver for soil degradation then population and economical growth for getting for the increasingly high uh, number of population we need to all the facilities including the food then the economic growth for attaining economical growth we need expansion of urban areas and the expansion of industrial areas all of them requiring land and this occurring of land leads to the degradation of land and intensification of agriculture so the intensified agriculture use huge amount of uh, fertilizers and huge amount of uh, like cropping practice uh, systems and machineries and this will be leads to the degradation of the soil and there are different levels of soil degradation the physical hydrological chemical and biological degradation so what are the degradation of soil uh, in in the basis of the physical properties first is surface clustering and compaction through the impact of rain drops animal hooves and farm machinery it leads to the compaction of the soil which loses its uh, ability in terms of aeration and water uh, water passage then loss of top soil structure Uh, which is basically used to, due to the tillage then subsoil compaction it's basically due to the heavy farm machineries uh, and because of this uh, weight it leads to the compaction of subsoil the hydrological properties degradation one is the reason is water logging increasing the water level so this increasing water level can be due to uh, rainfall heavy rainfall which is due to the climate change or due to the irrigation then another uh, degradation hydrological degradation is the aridification involving decrease in the soil moisture availability soil moisture is very much important for plants as well as for the other soil organisms so the loss in soil moisture will leads to the degradation of the soil the chemical degradation the chemical degradation is primarily the loss of nutritive value of soil uh, decrease, decrease in the npk the uh, primary macronutrients which is directly related to uh, the plant growth and it is also uh, they also included secondary nutrient loss and the micronutrient loss Uh, it can be due to leaching uh, gracious losses removal of har uh, removal of harvested products then chemical imbalance and toxicities uh, which is uh, the chemical uh, imbalance may be due to the application of the fertilizers or pesticides change in ph uh, that's uh, another type of chemical degradation salination increasing the salt concentration in the soil uh, which leads to the poor uh, which, which can be due to the poor irrigation or the gazing practices then chemical pollution chemical production uh, is uh, say basically a product of uh, unscientific uh, augmentation of the soil using different fertilizers and may even with the uh, waste products then finally uh, the degradation of the biological properties of the soil the biological properties of the soil can be degraded due to two different reasons one is uh, the reduction in and uh, reduction in the number and activity of like beneficial organism the soil is a complex structure it is a how, home for different types of organisms like bacteria uh, rhizobia like mycorrhiza earthworms termites etc so the uh, intensive agricultural practices or the contamination can cause decline in the beneficial organism these organisms are very much associated with the plant and it is actually complementing the plant growth uh, then another reason may be the increasing number of harmful organisms so because of the uh, unscientific uh, agriculture practices and intensive farming uh, there may be the biological properties will be loss uh, and it is evident from the increased number of harmful organisms and decreased number of beneficial organisms then what are the causes of soil degradation the soil degradation causes are divided into two one is proximate causes and another is overlying causes the proximate causes are biophysical in nature and most of them are natural causes like uh, direct effect on ecosystem by drought soil salinity soil acidity uh, metal contamination etc 
but this causes are due to the overlying causes overlying causes are basically the anthropogenic causes why we are having high solid salinity why drought is happening so much because the improper planning and improper agriculture and improper handling of the forest uh, then this overlying causes including uh, intensive cropping deforestation overgazing or uh, industrialization this overlying causes is actually causing the proximate causes so the basic uh, reason for soil degradation is uh, human activities uh, the causes of soil degradation uh, can be again uh, like pointed out like deforestation overgazing agricultural practices or exploitation of the vegetative cover increased flooding uh, or the industrial activities this one cause the worsen the soil conditions and which uh, actually which is actually uh, complementing the natural process of uh, soil degradation and this is figure is actually uh, summarizing all causes of soil degradation Thank you.